whether you're cooking a lamb roast, a beef roast, a pork roast, or roast chicken. In a camp oven, the process is all the same. We've got a lot to talk about in today's video. Let's cut to the chase. Let's get right into it. G'day, Dennis from Caravan Cooking here. A couple of nights ago, we had the best roast. We had a pork roast cooked in the, the spun steel camp oven um, over heat beads. So we had heat beads on, the, on the, the top, heat beads on the bottom. But in a lot of places, you can't have an open fire. You can't have a fireplace. You've got to use a fire pit. And this little contraption here called the Camp Maid um, works very very well so fire pits are quite expensive you can, you can buy a, a portable fire pit for around the 200 hundred dollar mark uh, for a good quality one but this little camp um, made contraption here is under thirty dollars yes we're camping at mill prinker in outback new south wales no fires allowed so we've got the camp made set up all ready to go um, i heat the heat beads up in a heat bead chimney to get those um, nice and hot and ready for cooking. We start off by putting a layer of the heat beads on the camp made shelf. Um, that's an adjustable shelf. Put about 10 heat beads on the bottom. Just equally space on either side. Then we grab our camp oven. It's a spun steel camp oven. We've got a pork roast inside. We've had it, uh, the bone taken out by the butcher and he's rolled it and um, tied it up with string and we've got a trivet underneath the, the pork roast there as well. That just keeps it up off the bottom of the camp oven and stops it from burning. And then we put a heat beads on the top and we try and put about twice the amount of heat beads on the top as we've got underneath. That helps to heat the air inside the camp oven, which helps to brown the roast and also cook the roast thoroughly through. The other thing I use when we cook a roast is this little ink bird um, meat thermometer. So the little probe goes actually in the meat. It means you don't have to uh, keep opening up the lid and letting the juices out of the roast. So that goes in uh, the, um, the body of the meat. And then this little fella here sits outside the camp oven and a Bluetooth to your mobile phone. So it's recommended that the internal temperature of pork is 63 degrees. So all I had to do is keep a, an eye on the temperature on my mobile phone, on the app on my mobile phone. It didn't need an internet connection, I'm just Bluetooth. And then um, I, I could keep the lid of the camp oven closed and keep the moisture in. And of course, when it got to 63 degrees, roast was cooked. It was beautiful. It was so um, moist and tender inside with the, 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 the um, crackling on the top, it was just to die for. It was really good. This link bird thermometer just makes it so much easier to cook the roast. You don't have to keep taking the lid off to check that it's all okay. You can see the temperature probe in the body of the meat there and then the little um, cable sort of runs out down to the Bluetooth section, that little red piece down on the ground there. Make sure when you're cooking as well that you close the lid of the camp oven so the juices don't get out. You see the crackling there start to form up. And the roast is really cooking nicely. I've got a pork roast here, but you could cook a, a lamb roast or a chicken in there, a beef roast. The process is the same as I said before. Mm -hmm. 
So here's 62 degrees, so it's almost cooked the uh, pork roast. That's the app on my phone. That's 62 degrees Celsius, of course, the internal temperature. You can see the crackling there is formed up really nice and I'm pretty happy with the result. So served with roast veggies and apple sauce and it was a great meal. Please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Dennis from Caravan Cooking. Thanks for watching. Hooroo.